Hi, my name is Anita Woods and I'm a midwife and I'm going to do a test with some masks. I have a couple of homemade cloth masks. They're both dual layer. Then just a standard regular medical mask. This is only two ply. Um, then I have an N95 mask and this is a pulse oximeter. Um, you can see there. Um, this is what I have used in the past for newborn babies to check their oxygenation. So I'm going to do this on myself, checking my oxygenation with different masks on. Um, but I'm gonna just a little red light, and I'm gonna put this on my finger just like normal. Now the first mask I'm going to wear, probably the Chiefs mask because I'm a fan, <laughs> and this is going to get a reading, so give it a second and we'll see what it says. I have to sit really still to do this. Okay, so you can see my oxygenation is at 97%, so that's within normal. Now, I'm going to keep this where you can see it and I'm going to put on a two-ply homemade mask. This is what I normally um, have been wearing um, out in public and now we're going to take a look and see what happens as I just sit here wearing this mask and we'll see how that affects me um, you can see that my heart rate is hovering around high 70s um, and my oxygenation is currently at 94, 93, 94. And if I just sit and rest for a minute. Yeah, 94. Now I'm going to take this mask back off without really moving. Take a big deep breath and see what changes. Okay, there's that. Now this is another homemade two-ply fabric mask that I bought off of Etsy. So the Chiefs mask I made myself. But this one I'm going to put on and then we're going to sit here for a little bit and we're going to see how that changes with just a, just a fabric mask. Um, this one is, a, I admit, is, is a little loose. You can kind of see how it sags right here. So it's, it's it's just not great. I'm when I wear it, I'm constantly having to pull it up and pull it up. <laughs> so just sitting here with it, and again, it's about the same. This <laughs> you can see how it's sliding down just as I talk. So I don't. That's why I don't like this mask. I don't wear it very often. But I just kind of wanted to give you a sample of what it's like for a couple of different cloth masks. And I'm going to take this one off. And then we're just going to sit here and wait and see what happens. Still about the same. Now I have, this is a standard two-ply cheap mask, commercially made. And there's a little wire at the top, so you can kind of curve it around your nose. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. And put this on. There we go. And I think these are some of the most comfortable to wear because it, I don't feel choked. I can still breathe pretty well through this. The, these cloth masks are pretty stuffy. Um, get hot. This one doesn't do that. When I talk, it feels kind of hot inside, but for the most part, it doesn't 
it doesn't really bother me. I can wear that. I could wear this for hours. So in terms of its comfort, um, it it's one of the most comfortable ones that I have. And you can see we're sitting still around the same. Nothing's really changing. So I'm going to take this one off. And then the last one I have is an N95 mask. These have a K in front of it because the, the ones with a K are the ones that are commercially, I don't know if you can see that or not, K N95. The K in front of it just means it's available to the public versus the ones that just say N95, you'll only be able to obtain from a medical, in, in a medical facility. So I'm a midwife and I have access to these, um, but they're just, I mean, that's the K. It's no different than an other N95 mask like in the hospital. Okay. Now, I can breathe pretty well because this is kind of cone shaped, so I can talk. It doesn't muffle my voice. Um, I can adjust this metal bar so you can see it's pretty tight against my skin and I'm just gonna again we're just gonna sit here and see what happens um, this is the one that got it kind of tight on my nose there we go now I can breathe it's still it's still pretty tight um, this is the one here lately that I've been wearing out in public most often. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's, it's hot. I do feel like, like I have a hard time catching my breath when I'm doing this, when I'm wearing it. So this is what I wear out in public just because not only does it protect everybody else or helps protect everybody else, it helps protect myself as well. So I'm in, I say I'm in a high risk group myself because of my own uh, medical issues. And then there are other people with medical issues. So I just, just trying to respect everyone, including myself. So we're just going to sit here and again, this is the most restrictive of the masks that I have to choose from. I actually have, there's another one here. This is, um, well, this is the same as the black one bought off of Etsy. Um, and then there's this one that I commonly wear. So we're kind of watching this and you're seeing it's not really going anywhere. Now the real deal is how long do I wear this? So I'm going to pause this video, but I'm just going to continue to sit here with this thing attached. And then I'll come back here in a little, uh, let's say 10 minutes. So after wearing it for 10 minutes and we'll see where it's at. Okay. I've been sitting here for 10 minutes and you can see the alarms going off. And that was, that was my daughter that you just saw. And so I've been sitting here for 10 minutes. I haven't moved from this chair. I haven't, I haven't gotten up. I haven't taken the mask off. I've just continued to stay here. And that's, that's as low as it ever got. Um, I think at one point for just a few seconds, it went down to 94. But, um, and again, this is my, this is the most restrictive mask that I have. This one is, um, it's tight, it's hot. I mean, in terms of physical comfort, it's it's the most comfortable, but um, it's just inside. It's just kind of hot, and uh, I almost feel like I like it's hard to get a breath inside. But it's actually just uh, I think it's just perceived the way I the way I perceive it because it's hot inside when I exhale, but it's it's cool air when I when I inhale. So. Um, so there's that. That's 10 minutes of wearing an N95 mask.